I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Welcome to Marseille. This is a gateway port to a lot of wonderful experiences. The UNESCO World Heritage Sites of Avignon, the world-class swans of Chateauneuf-du-Pape, the charm of Aix-en-Provence. There's a lot more, but there's also Marseille itself, and that's where our story and our journey begins. Marseille is France's second largest city and the country's oldest city. It has a history that dates back to ancient Greek times. Stroll along the shop line streets in search of designer fashion, or relax at one of the many fountains. The best way to enjoy Marseille is simply to allow yourself to absorb its Mediterranean character. Marseille's old port has been a hub of trade activity since the ancient Greeks first landed here in 600 BC. The old port is the perfect place for a stroll along the Watt Promenade or to have a bite to eat in any of the cafes that line the waterfront. Notre Dame de la Garde sits high on a hilltop overlooking Marseille. Built on the site of an ancient fortress, the church was dedicated to the Virgin Mary and consecrated in 1864. This is a seafarer's church with paintings and votives depicting scenes from the sea. Avignon's historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Situated on the Rhone River, the medieval walled city practically pulses with light inside the walls. Thousands of people come to walk on the Pont d'Avignon every day. The odd thing is, the bridge doesn't go anywhere. That's because it was built back in the 1100s, destroyed many times, and what you see now is all that remains of the bridge. The Pope's Palace is one of the largest and most important medieval Gothic buildings in all of Europe. It was once a fortress and a palace, and in 1309 it became the home to seven successive popes. The Grand Chapel, where the Avignon Popes worship, will leave you in awe. The impressive Pope's Palace wasn't the only thing the popes left behind in Avignon. They also left behind a legacy of an internationally acclaimed wine, and no trip to Avignon would be complete without a taste or two of Chateauneuf de Pop, or basically the Pope's wine. You would think that we'd gone to the French countryside, but we're actually just two minutes from the city center of Avignon. Here at Auberge de Treillet, experience fine dining under centuries old plane trees and enjoy a taste of what makes this region of Provence so very special. Excellent Provence exudes the essence of Provence. Here you'll find inviting street cafes, fragrant floral displays, tempting pastries, as well as beautiful architecture and endless fountains. You could spend hours pointing your camera to frame beautiful snapshots. The elegant facades of the gracious 17th and 18th century mansions are simply stunning. If you plan to visit only one church in Axon Provence, I know just the one. Step inside the impressive San Sephora Cathedral, which was built on the site of a first century Roman forum. One of the church's distinguishing characteristics is its contrasting styles of architecture, Romanesque, Gothic, and Neo-Gothic. Our time here has come to an end. We learned that Marseille is a wonderful cruise destination full of history and also the gateway to UNESCO World Heritage Sites, world-class swans, and the charm of Provence. But to experience all of that, you'll have to come for yourself. I'm Ralph Grizzle and I look forward to seeing you in the next beautiful destination.